happening now. John Tecklenburg is preparing to take over as the next mayor of Charleston. He received 58% of the vote, beating Leon Stavernakis. News 2's Annie Taylor joins us now live from Charleston City Hall this morning, where Tecklenburg will take over for Mayor Joe Riley. Annie, it is a new beginning in the city of Charleston. Yes, it is. Good morning, Octavia. And you know who's going to wake up on the right side of the bed? Well, that is John Tecklenburg. January 2016, which is right around the corner, he will walk up those steps behind me and into those doors, and he will take uh, the seat of the new mayor of Charleston, which is so exciting. Now, last night we were there for the celebration uh, where he celebrated with friends, family, and constituents. He was passionate during his celebratory speech, saying that he's ready to make Charleston a better place to work together, to collaborate, to solve problems. And running a positive campaign was a plan all along, and he believes that is what helped him win all the votes. Well, I think it's a real sign that the positive message of being positive and being optimistic and talking about issues that impact our quality of life really resonated with voters in this election today. Now, John Tecklenburg, obviously, he received majority of the votes, but he says in the last two weeks of his campaigning, he really wants to say thank you to one person who supported him. Coming up, we'll tell you who that is. Live in downtown Charleston, I'm Annie Taylor for News 2. The work to do to deal with traffic, to deal with our schools, to deal with our future. And so I need all of you to help me work with our new mayor again to make Charleston the very, very best place that it can be moving forward. Leon Stavronakis called Mayor-elect Tecklenburg to congratulate him last night and emphasize that Mayor Joe Riley uh, was an amazing leader for the city of Charleston during his concession speech. He made mention of that, calling Riley one of the greatest leaders in America and urged the community to come together behind John Tecklenburg. Mayor Joe Riley thanked Stavronakis and Tecklenburg on good campaigns, and he released this statement saying the community was fortunate to have two fine candidates, and I look forward to working with John. He will be an excellent mayor, and I look forward to working with him in this transition period. There were two runoffs for Charleston City Council in District 1. Incumbent Gary White narrowly defeated Sean Pinkston with 52% of the vote. And in District 3, incumbent James Lewis defeated Jimmy Bailey with 54% of the vote to Bailey's 46%. Voters also back at the polls to settle the town council race. Will Haney and Jim Owens easily winning those two open seats. They joined Bob Brimmer and Joe Bustos, who won seats two weeks ago. Those two beating out Chris O'Neill, who came in a distant third yesterday. 